local students are starting to show up at those new COVID-19 testing sites opening up across the city. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. Daniel Marin is off tonight. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in West El Paso where she spoke with parents of students about why they're getting tested. And Natasia, I am here at one of those new testing sites. And if you go ahead and take a look behind me, you can see there are still a couple of cars in line here, even though this testing site is about to close. Now, I spoke with a young girl here today who was getting tested. She waited nearly two hours in line with her mom here at the Don Haskins Recreation Center to get tested for COVID-19. Now, she says she is having COVID-19-like symptoms and has already heard that some people at her school have the virus. There was a lot of kids in my school and they got corona, so I had to get tested because um, I had some of the symptoms. Lucia Perez is vaccinated but says she's not feeling well. I have a lot of muscle pain and I have a sore throat. Her mother said she received a letter from her school that there was a COVID-19 case. With the first symptoms, I just want to make sure that she's not sick because I don't want another people to get sick. By looking at the EPISD COVID dashboard, it shows 11 teachers with COVID-19. However, a spokesperson for the district says it needs to be updated. The SISD COVID dashboard shows 20 students and five employees have COVID-19, while YISD shows 31 students and five employees are positive. Another parent stopping by to get tested. I got a letter from the school last week saying that there was a positive case at their school site. So I don't know if it was an adult or a child, but I know for me, I was concerned as soon as he had a fever because he hasn't had the vaccine. Coming to get tested alone, but says her son tested negative on Monday, but she was worried they got the test too soon and says he's one year too young to get the vaccine. 